Hello, and welcome to something new. This is... Is that like a back button? That's a quick game button. I want to show the actual, like, main menu, but... This is Rome 2, Total War Rome 2, Rome 2, Total War... This is Rome 2. Whatever bollocks you feel like calling it, and I am not comfortable, and I shouldn't have started recording until I was comfortable, but whatever. Um... This is specifically the Emperor Edition, which is supposed to be better than the original game. Uh, or the game when it launched. Uh, I did not like the game when it launched, so I didn't play it. I've got very few hours in the game as of right now. The only faction I've ever played as is Rome. And I've never played Rome for more than, I don't know, 20, 30 turns, maybe? I don't actually count the turns very well, so... I, I don't know much about the game, but... For whatever reason, I've latched onto playing as Egypt. I don't know why I have done this, but I have. Uh, we'll be playing on normal, normal initial challenge because of the faction we've chosen. I think the only easy initial challenge is Rome, and they do have a particularly easy initial challenge, but Egypt is the oldest empire, blah da blah da. You know what Egypt is, I don't need to explain that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. We're not gonna bump up the game difficulty because I've not played this before. This will be a single player campaign, even though the game does have multiplayer. There may be a multiplayer campaign in the future, I don't know. I do like my multiplayer uh, Total War campaigns, and by multi multiplayer Total War campaigns, I mean Shogun 2. That was pretty fun. Should probably just cut the uh, loading screens out. I don't know. I don't recall the battle loading screens being that long, though. This one's pretty long, and I don't even know if it's still recording, actually. It may have straight up ceased recording. Who knows? I'm gonna keep talking in the event that it hasn't. But it's literally zero frames. That's all she wrote. Z zero frames. Oop. It's going now. Oop. It's at one frame. It's writing to the, the recorded file at one frame per second. It's gonna be a glorious slideshow and a half, but it's a loading screen, so it doesn't matter. Heck, it's a slideshow and a half for me. Except for my mouse movement. My mouse speed is really fast. Probably not for you guys. Probably shouldn't do this too much, because then my mouse will go everywhere. There we the go. The former vassals, Serenaka, have deigned to declare their independence and must be brought to heel. Cyprus remains true, but is at risk from invasion, as are your eastern possessions. The Seleucid Empire is a particular threat, a sprawling successor kingdom desperate to maintain power by whatever means possible. An alliance with Nabatea may help to keep them in check. Maintain trade relations with the Greek states, and beware of Macedonian treachery as they too may seek to gain control of Alexander's former empire. Egypt shall be victorious. Yay, Egypt, etc, etc. Does yet yeah, WASD moves the camera? I am pr I am happy, I should say. Uh, completely control three provinces. Okay. What are our three provinces? I'm using a mod, it's the camera zoom mod, by the way. It's the only thing I'm actually using. Um... We only have... We control Jerusalem, apparently. So we're missing two provinces here. We've got that one under full control. This one is a lot of provinces. Three of which are at war with us, though. Must be another one along the... Is it along the shore? Yeah, it's this one right here that's at war with us. So go ahead and close that. Uh, we have trade with you. So, Seleucid, obviously they're going to be an issue. They're right there on our border. It wants us to ally with... Who was it? You. They want us to ally with you. You're only a single province, though. I think pushing south would be a relatively safe endeavor because I don't think anything can cross the desert here, so that'd be something easy enough to keep. Planning out my strats here. Obviously, we're going to move west first because we're under attack from the west. Where are our armies? We've got an army there. Army there that's not going to be moved. We've got two armies. And a fleet. It's a big fleet. It is a very tiny fleet. Fair enough. We have a spy as well. We're going to move this spy because I believe it's the only spy we have right now. We're going to move this spy this way. It's going to take him a couple turns, but whatever. 
don't think we need to just keep spying on Seleucid Empire right now while we're at war. Before we do anything, we're going to go ahead and see what our technology does. Extra wealth enables the building of stuff. I'm a fairly passive player, and I like to go for the economy stuff more so than anything else, which is probably not necessarily helpful. I don't like this path right here. We may... How much do they hate me? Is that diplomacy? That's diplomacy. How much do you hate me? A lot. You very much hate me. Now, Matea, however, you like me. And initiate diplomacy. My We're going to go for an alliance you with you immediately. This, with your... this option Low. is used to broker military alliances. This allows Hi. you to call on an ally. I know what an alliance is. Shut up. Military, military access. access I know trust. what these things are, woman. Hmm. They probably won't go for that, no. It's probably expecting too much. Uh, we'll do a non-aggression pact. I know what that is, thank you. I'm basically just getting a bunch of these to try and get them to like me so we can just go straight for the alliance. Soon, rather well than later. Done. You've negotiated military access through the territory. You of like me. I know what I've done, have woman. Seen its results. We could try and do something with them. We'll, we'll probably, at the very least, trade with them. I wish the diplomacy menu was slightly more easy to use. Trade agreement? They will take a trade agreement. At the very least, so we'll leave them alone. Cyprus is already trading with us. Cyprus owns that, too? Well, that's why you're under risk of freaking invasion. I'm already trading you. What about Sparta? Cannot trade. Do not really like. What about you? Do you want to trade? Trade Zeus. Declare war. No, trade. We Greeks are a realistic folk and will accept this accord. They're realistic. You're treacherous, though. I like them. I believe that's all we're going to reasonably get trade out of. There's a lot of people that like us, unlike when you play Rome, where everyone hates you. It's unlikely we can't trade with them. It's unlikely we'll get trade with any of these people down here because they don't like us very much, but we'll check. Oh, maybe we will. Uh, what about you? Do you want to trade? We can't trade with you because you don't have a port. Do you have a port? God's sake, this menu. Can't trade with them because they don't have a port. Alright. Fair enough. So we've got lots of trade agreements. Satrapy. That's fast. So why are we not trading with you? I thought they were the trading with Trade. Upon you. Why would you not start with a trade agreement with them? Whatever, we've got lots of trade going out, coming in, so lots of income for us, which is good. What's our happiness looking like? Not very good over here. Can we improve that? We can. Get a settlement built. At where? Jerusalem. Let's get that built. That'll even our food out. I want happiness. Happiness is good. I'm not too worried about happiness here. I'm not too worried about happiness there. Do I want to move this army over? It'll allow us to finish this war much faster. If we use that army as well. Let's do it. Why not? What can we recruit? Um, horses might not be the worst idea. What do we have? Infantry and pikemen. Nubian spearmen seem pretty good. We have no range? No, we have slingers. We should probably have more range than that. I'd like to have at least four ranged units, and that's potentially all we'll have in that army for a while, so we'll pass our turn. You have a lot of free food. Yeah, you do. Um, you... We're going to do some scouting for me. Don't mess with them, just kind of skirt around them. I don't think there's anyone here. I'm worried about there being someone here, though, and moving over to Memphis. What is it complaining about? I should have read that. I may still issue an edict. Ah, edicts. Forgot about that. What do we want here? Mercenary edict? No. 
Reduced recruitment and building construction costs. Huge public order, but order bonus. We're going to be doing a lot of military recruitment, so we're going to go ahead and take the end building. So we'll take that bonus to make it a little bit cheaper. And in fact, because we've done that, I don't know if it affects that. No, not two view, one view. I don't know if that helped at all, but we, we done did it. Sure, we'll end our first turn. Rome always gets to act we immediately after. War. There it goes. And poets will sing of it 10,000 years hence, when all else is forgotten. So they're being in a lot of people. Holy crap. Holy crap. Hmm. Ah, some allies have refused to join them. Media join the or Medaya, which I believe is up here. It's somewhere in Byzantine what used to be the or what will eventually theoretically be the Byzantine Empire up there. What used to be. Or the Roman Empire, as it were. Persia did not join them, that's good. I don't know what these other three are, but Persia didn't join them, so that'll at least be slightly helpful. So that guy's gonna immediately turn back to Jerusalem. Sadly, we are now at war on two fronts. You want a non-aggression pact. I will agree to that. Because I'm about to get wrecked by a bunch of people. I need allies, badly. Well Trade done. agreement with someone You've broke. A unit. Who? War coordination goes further. Yes, yes, shut up. Sades? Oh, you. Probably, yeah, you're at war with me. That would explain why you, uh... Don't want to trade anymore. You, do you want to join this war? Greetings, most excellent friend. Military the lights, low. Probably because you I'm at war. Your own heart fires. You wouldn't go for satrapy? No. Join war against the Seleucid? Low. What if I pay you? No, offer payment. If I do like 810, moderate? What if I go a little bit higher than that? Let's go a thousand. Moderate. Let's go with that. You will you join? Oh. What about a military alliance now? No, no. God dang it. You're still running a non-aggression pack, or you, now you're running a non-aggression pack. Do you want to join? Um, I can't blow so much money in joining getting these guys to join. Do you even have an army? I don't know if he has an army. So these guys are now at war with my enemies to the north, so you're going to park yourself back there. I saw him moving an army this way, I think. Maybe going around to Petra. We'll have to see. In the meantime, you're just going to have to recruit what you can get. That will have to do. You get some Nubian spearmen going. infantry hmm hmm the start of this this thing you don't have much of an army he's forced march who are you you're sardes oh that would be why you forced march do you even have an army cyprus you don't seem to have an army you have a navy does that help us this is good the port is blockaded, and you show. F the port is blockaded, but you can't hold it. So bargain, bargain, bargain. Let's go back over there. Hmm. I wonder how much of an army, whoever this is, Nevatea, how much of an army they have, because we don't have much, really. I I need to get rid of this western flank so I can move. So I can combine my forces and not have this split offensive crap that's going on here. This was supposed to be a normal start, not a everyone in the universe declares war on you start, because that's what this has turned into. There's media. 
At least Persia didn't join this war. I'm very happy about that. You've researched technology. Very soon We've you made will a have calendar. Over all you don't rivals. have to tell me all of these things. Suppress advice. Shut up. <laughs> don't need your advice, woman. So this has unlocked these three categories here. We'll do a quick check on those. The library and dignitaries. Plus one growth in all provinces. That's pretty handy. And reduced construction costs. We should probably research some military stuff, though. Alright, is there anything here? Hello? There's nothing there. There appears to also be nothing there. We will make our advance to the west. You guys can chill. You can wait a second. Can I build any sort of military stuff here? Yes. What is this? Practice field. Greek Ballista. We need that, though, because we need basic units. Alrighty. Let me check something. Who are you at war with? Just us? Alright. Seleucid really hates us. There's Media. I thought they were up there. Apparently they're over here. Uh, Kidri... Are you at war with anyone? You're just really hostile. Will you... I am here, then. Don't declare war. Speak That's the entirely wrong button. And be sure Join that war I against... Are they already at war? Hold on. Oh, they are already at war. That would explain why that army marched that way. They're marching to there. Okay. I was going to have them join the war against the Seleucids because they hate them, but uh, they're already in that war because the Seleucids are warmongering heathens. Well, do I want to move my army up and risk being flanked? I do not believe I do. I also don't want to recruit any more of those crap units. But it'll be two turns before I can recruit better units. I think it'll be better to wait on the defensive and recruit some better units, units on that flank. We're probably going to lose Cyprus entirely here. Which sucks, but... I don't know if there's in. Oh, Cyprus does appear to have an army up there. I don't know if there's anything we could do about it. Maybe there is. I don't know. You. Scout for me. Back this way. Just to make sure there's nothing on my border. There's not. Their other one should be up here. And for battles that are, you know, horribly in one or the other favor, in this case mine. Level one weapons. Uh, I'm just going to auto-battle them because, frankly, we're not going to lose, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> this, even if I failed horribly, we're not going to lose. Do you want to raise it? They were my vassal at some point, apparently, so we'll just, we'll just occupy it, peacefully occupy it. Uh, we don't have to repair anything because apparently nothing got broke. Uh, you guys are going to need happiness. Do you have food? You have food. Plus one public order per turn. Like this civil settlement. You guys can chill there for now. We'll probably take... We might take Cyrene next and then swoop back around to Ammonia on our way back. Ammonium, not Ammonia, on our way back. I'm not sure yet. We're going to need to expand this stuff, though. One more turn for Jerusalem. You guys are unhappy, but you're positive, so whatever. You guys are also positive. Two growth per turn. Egypt can get some crazy growth off their buildings, apparently. These are just basic grain farms, and we're getting two growth off of them. Growth being this right here allows you to expand cities. You can see it takes three population surplus, apparently. We have three extra people. It allows you to get more building slots for stuff. Um, I might get that. We could also get a port for a lot more food. Or manufacturing, or whatever. I'd rather have a military wharf. Maybe not right now. We have two ports? Where's our other port? Myos. Oh, it's right here. Oh, fair enough. It's the port that goes that way. This would probably be a good port for a fishing port or something, because I, frankly, we don't really need military down here. There's a fair chunk of land that we can actually attack militarily. Wow, the map on Rome 2 is a lot larger than I thought it was. Maybe a military port down there wouldn't be too bad. 
We'll have other ports over there later, he says, assuming he's still alive. 